Hi, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning. Today we are looking at two carrier variable speed furnaces in an attic that we just changed out and outside they are matched with two carrier infinity variable speed condensers. As always, please like this video, uh, hit that button, subscribe to my channel for more information on carrier heating and air conditioning systems. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the section below happy to answer those for you and check out the other videos on my channel as as maybe there's something else you want to check out some other uh, information about condensers furnaces coils fan coils heat pumps anything like that and yeah we are located in Anaheim California so if you're located around us in this area I would be happy to give you an estimate on a carrier system as well you can reach me at 714-526-6368 or visit us on our website at albertair.com. So let's get right into these systems. I'm gonna show you what's going on. So these systems that were up in the attic, there was two older systems, about 25, 30 years old. They were actually three and a half ton size systems. And they did one for the downstairs, which is on the left here. And the other system does the upstairs on the right. Um, this house is about 3,500 square feet, two stories. So obviously three and a half tons is, is adequate for that. So we took a look at this and we decided when we calced out the house and took the measurements on what's needed for airflow, we decided to go up to two four ton systems. So that's what you're looking at, a 60,000 BTU ultra low NOx furnace, variable speed by carrier with a four ton coil. And that's the same for the upstairs and downstairs. So in most homes that we check out, we wanna make sure that everything's gonna work properly. And when we calced out the duct work on these, which is all these ducts coming off up here, which we ended up upsizing. So we calc calculated the, the amount of air that could come off their old systems was only about a thousand CFM, which is equal to about three tons of air. So going to four ton systems, we wanted to make sure that they had enough airflow uh, so the systems would perform properly, the coils wouldn't ice up, the motors wouldn't over ramp uh, and run hard, the compressor pressures would be nice and even. So we ended up upsizing a lot of the ducts coming off, which you can see all the silver ducts here are upsized. Uh, a lot of them were only 10 inch, we went to 12 inch coming off. Um, and we also added a couple vents to the upstairs master bedroom as well as to the upstairs hallway ceiling to make sure that air had somewhere to go. Um, and that really helped out the systems. It actually gave the systems 1500 CFMs of air, which is four tons of air. Uh, so we, we upped the amount of airflow coming out by about 35% compared to his old system. So now he can cool, they can heat faster, a lot more efficient, a lot less on your energy bills because of that. Um, on the bottom down here, you can see that we have the return duct. So we both had, these systems both had 18 inch return ducts, these black ducts right there, which were totally fine for a four ton system. They do about 1500 CFMs of air too. But what we also decided is, is there's an imbalance in air within the house because the returns are on one side of the house way over here in the attic and the master bedroom is on the west side of the house so we actually ran a new duct right here off this side of the furnace and this is the ceiling right here of the master bedroom which pulls out heat from that area of the house and then we have this 18 inch duct that actually runs all the way over there to the other end of the upstairs of the house. So now it makes it a much more balanced system upstairs. The west facing master bedroom, which is a high ceiling room. You can see there's the sidewall of the room right there. The high ceiling, it's able to pull the heat out of there and make it a very, very comfortable room. So that's the main thing on these systems that we did is, is a lot of retrofitting the ductwork, making sure they're gonna work properly for the homeowner, make sure we can reduce energy bills, these are variable speed systems, so they do have multiple speeds. Sometimes they are running at a higher speed or a lower speed, depending on your temperature and humidity in the house. Obviously on these systems, we did a, a drain pan under them right there. So if there's any overflow, it goes into the drain pans. We have your primary drain right there going down and out, which we test. We have your secondary shutoff switches on each. Um, we have the new supply plenum right here, which is where all the ducts come off. The flue vent right there that we adapt to, filter dryers, new gas flexes, new electrical plugs. That's all standard with this equipment. So if you have any other questions about this system and what we did up here and how we did it or why we did it, leave a comment in the section below. If you're located near the Anaheim area where we are in Anaheim, California, 
and you'd like an estimate on a new system like this or any other carrier system, give me a call, 714-526-6368 or visit us on our website at www.albertair.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.